Hello everyone, my name is Orgelina. I'm a vocal coach, singer, songwriter and singer. I teach people how to use the voice for speaking and singing contemporary music in a functional and easy way. Today I'm going to show you how to use your breathing in a way that makes singing and speaking much easier. Now if you don't have time for a long video today, I still want you to get something out of this video. So go to the description below because I have a 20 minute free lesson that you can download right now and use it. It's going to really help you set up your breathing to use your voice effectively. Now when we're talking about breathing for singing, there are various things that we have to have into consideration. Firstly, of course, is how much air you take in. It's going to be different for speaking and for singing and for each different thing you want to sing is also going to be different. So the role really in training for singers and speakers is to train the body and the brain to make that decision for you. Because obviously no one wants to be all the time thinking how much, what the amount of air that do I have to take for this or for that. Secondly, how do you take the air in is also very important. There are many, many different ways of taking air in. In fact, I think every breath you take is different. Now, in this video, I'm not going to get super in detail into that. In another videos, I will, because there is so much to talk about when it comes to breathing. For today, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the main three kinds of breathing. Of course, there are like a gazillion sub types. For now, let's focus on the main three. So uh, you might have heard about them before as well. Firstly, low breathing. This is where a lot of different methods uh, of singing and voice using um, are a little bit different. But basically, it means uh, bringing the, the, air, the breathing to the, to the low lungs. Some people talk about belly breathing, like expanding this part of your body when you breathe in. So in the way I work with the voice, the low breathing that we talk about is actually the low back breathing. Now, of course, you're not actually bringing air to your back. Obviously, you, the only place you actually bring air to is your lungs. Always remember that. Why is this so important? For various reasons, of course. But mainly when you are using your low back breathing, so basically you breathe in and you feel the lumbar part of your spine sort of expanding with your breath like this. Basically, what happens is that you are creating some space in your lumbar spine and, and there is some movement. For that to happen, you have to tilt your pelvis in a certain way and you have to allow your abdominal muscles to be available. So they have a, a healthy tone. And what this allows you, because of course, remember that in the body, everything is, is really connected. So you're never using something in isolation, right? When you're using this type of breathing, there is a tracheal pull and that happens naturally. That is the most efficient, organic and easy for the body way to bring your larynx down, which is super important to activate the low frequencies of your voice. An analogy with music, that will be the, the bass speaker of your voice. It's is here in the throat and uh, when we are singing or speaking without technique, that space usually is not there. So when you start using this low back breathing, then you have this, oh, this oomph that allows you to mix your voice and create the sounds that you want in a healthy manner. So it's very important. And secondly, we have the side breathing in which we open off basically the reps. The reps go like this when you breathe in. And for that to happen, it's also important that first you activate the low breathing. And of course, I'm talking about right now, I'm talking about singing. For singing, you need more air than for speaking. It's, it is important that as a singer, you develop all these breathing types, of course, at the same time, because if you just think about side breathing, for example, then you can be doing it in a way that is actually really harmful for your voice. For example, I can open my reps, but I can at the same time be contracting this muscle here, the abdominal muscle here, and in a very strong way, like this. Oh. And as you can see, my voice gets all tight. So we don't want that. When you are using your side breathing, you are using um, your reps. I'm going to go a little bit deeper into that in other videos of how, what reps and why. But for now, just know that they, uh, the reps open in this way. And for singing, we try to keep them there when we sing without pushing, of course. This breathing type is super, super important because it, it plays a big role into your breath support. Breath support in singing means that you have the ability of controlling the airflow. And that is very important to sing in a healthy manner and in an easy way as well. Finally, when you're using high breathing, you're using the, the top part of your lungs. There are different, of course, different kinds of high breathings and 
one of them is useful for singing and some others are not. So when you are breathing for singing in a, in a full way, in a way that is effective for your voice, you are going to be raising a little bit your sternum, just a little bit. So it's very tiny. Usually, though, <laughs> when people think about high breathing, they think about a breathing type in which everything is actually tight and the breathing only happens in this direction, like this. Now, that is really non-functional for singing for many reasons, because actually you're breathing it's just a tiny amount of air. It's not that much. It feels like you are breathing a lot because you're making a lot of effort. It's a breathing type that requires your whole body to make a big effort to get. And not only that, but also to get there, you are tightening a lot of muscles that you need relaxed for singing and for speaking in an effective and functional manner. That kind of breathing, we try to get rid of it as soon as we can. And that is the type of breathing that most people use when they start singing. I'm not sure if it is because we tend to get nervous when we use the, the voice in front of strangers or because it is perceived as a big air intake, but it's never a big air intake. Just know that it's a good a breathing type for when you have to do a big effort with your body, like for example, pushing something really hard, it really like bruises your body and makes you, makes you be able to do that effort. But for singing, not good. Something else I wanted to talk to you about today is a little technique that I got for learning to breathe in a song. It is a simple technique and you, you can try it right away. This is a technique for um, if you are a beginner mm -hmm. and you have some trouble finding in what parts of the song to breathe. So this is a very simple technique. Basically, you grab your lyrics, whatever lyrics you want. Hopefully you print them and this is, it is easier if you print them. And what you're going to do is you are going to work with two different uh, kinds of breathing today. So basically long breathings and short breathings. We're going to talk about long breathings when we have a, like a second or more to breathe in. So you, 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 you're able to take a, a somehow relaxed breath. And then you sing. The other kind of breathing is the short breathing, snappy breathing. And it's a very short space of air. You, if you are ever seeing a hip hop song or a rap song, you have tons of them. So basically you do them uh, when you speak as well. It's this kind of uh, breathings that are short and fast, but you should not make any noise. That is the trick. So it could be something like this. So the air still goes to the low part of my body not to the high part. It's really easy when you're doing short breaths, it's really easy to go, that's not what we want. So first, before you try this technique, this incorporating these two songs, first, try that short breathing in a manner that, you know, in a way that you don't have to make any noise. And then you sing. You're gonna grab your lyrics, and then what you're gonna do is, you, once you train both kinds of breathing, you are going to write a semicolon every time that you have a breathing that is about a second or longer and you're gonna write a comma every time that you have a short breathing those snappy breathings that we talked about so what you have to do is you have to set with your song and you have to start doing marks an example of that if i think for example about the song roar by Katy perry you will have a snappy breath between the first and second line of the first verse I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath scared to rock the boat and make a mess Try this exercise and then tell me how it goes. I think you're gonna find that right away, you will have much, so much more control of your breathing. It's gonna change your singing, especially if you are sh just starting and you need just a tool that always works, this is the right one for you. All right, so this is a little bit of what I wanted to show you today. In the future, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth into breathing and hopefully that was useful for you. If it was, remember to subscribe and stay tuned because I'm always posting content like this.